Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree video. So in today's video we are going to be covering web design and development. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So web design and development is pretty much a combination of, of course, in its name, web design and the development stages of the website itself. Now there's a lot of things to consider in terms of web design and development. And these would be within client specification, your target audience, what sort of things will you be doing with it? Are you going to create an e-commerce site? Are you going to create a commerce site? So that's why these processes are crucial in order to create a website. So starting off with our first one, and we're going to be starting off with what exactly web design is. So web design is a process of creating the visual elements, the layout, the overall aesthetic appeal of the website. And it involves a combination of artistic and technical skills to design an engaging and user-friendly interface. Now, what web designers usually use uh, are the design principles, the color theory, the typography, imagery, and graphics to create a visually appealing and cohesive design that aligns with the client's brand identity. Now, they would consider factors such as target audience, what your website goals are, the industry standards to create wireframes and mockups using design software like Adobe Photoshop, you've got Sketch or Figma to visualize the design before implementation. Now, to further more explain uh, what I mean by wireframes and just the base foundation of what web design is, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that using an example from a development tool called Figma. Now, it's actually online based. It's a collaborative workspace between a development team. If you could see uh, in front of us, uh, of course, this is just the screenshot that I've took from Figma itself. We've got different areas like navigation. You've got your hero section. You've got social proof, which is social media uh, features left and right. It's probably pr uh, proposing what sort of layout you want to give your website in terms of the sections. CTA, you've got your footer and the posts. So this is that very uh, that uh, screenshot. So you can see that there's different sections that have been created, like the hero section, you've got your social proof, you've got features left and right, CTA, footer, posts, pricing. And you can see as well that you can add your own shapes to it. So if I wanted to create a rectangle around this area there, I can go ahead and do so. I can add some text in as well. So if I just direct some text here, as you can see, I'm able to write. Now it is fairly small and this sort of tool enables you to change the sizing. Uh, you've got options as well to change the color, uh, of course the layout. So if I have it at 5000, it of, of course brings it all the way under here. So there's quite a lot of things that you can do with these development tools like Figma. Of course you have Adobe XD as well in order to create that. Um, base foundation for wireframing. Now, as well as doing it online, there are other methods of doing the wireframing. Now, as I mentioned, wireframing doesn't just involve online. You can also sketch that out in, of course, uh, just pen and paper. Now, this is an example that I've taken off the internet. So, of course, what we're seeing here is the cover, which I'm intending to think that it could be a landing page or possibly a home page. Then the content inside it, then you've got your articles as well. So it could be a blog post uh, type uh, wireframe. So this is an example. It doesn't have to be a website, of course, but this is um, this is close to what a website would look like. Uh, you can see you've got your um, different parts and placeholders that you want to maybe add. Of course, this is your opportunity to start writing a couple of things, what uh, sort of features you want the buttons to do, uh, where you want it to link, the, what the paragraphs would look like, what colored text it will be, 
uh, how many sections you're going to add to that website or that home page. So there's a lot of consideration to do and the web design stage is where you would do it at. So just you guys know, the people that would primarily look into doing the web design would mainly be UI and UX designers or UI UX designers. Now, UI basically means, um, it basically just focuses on the visual elements and interactions that the user would encounter when navigating through a website or application. Now, that would more involve the design of a layout the design of buttons, icons, forms, and other interactive elements to create an intuitive and visually uh, pleasing interface. Now, UI designers consider factors like usability, the accessibility, consistency, to ensure that the interface is easy to understand and navigate. Now, they would aim to create a seamless user experience by designing clear navigation systems, intuitive user flows, and visually appealing interface elements. And UI designers work closely with the web developers to ensure that the design is implemented accurately. Now, as well as that, it's pretty much just making sure if you are a UI uh, designer, you want to make sure with the developers that are creating the website for you, uh, that the mock-up or whatever you've created actually will work in the user's experience. Now, there's no point uh, creating something, uh, of course, and it won't work. That's why they would create multiple designs on wireframing or the wireframing stage, just to ensure that the developers can go ahead and proceed to the next best one uh, if the first design won't work for development. Now, just to furthermore explain what user experience is, so that's UX. So UX design is concerned with the overall experience that users have when interacting with a website or application. Now, it involves understanding user needs, behaviors, and goals to design a product that meets those requirements. UX designers conduct research, create user personas, and define user journeys to understand how users will interact with the website. Now, you, they would more focus on improving the usability, the accessibility, satisfaction of the product, and pretty much just optimize the user flow. Uh, they would collaborate with stakeholders, developers, and UI designers to create a seamless and user centric experience so that's just a background story on ui ux uh, developers now if it, if you are a ui ux developer of course you, you would be creating the website yourself uh, and designing the website yourself so now we're going to move on to the development stage now there's actually quite a few processes in terms of the development stage now Web development refers to the process of creating and building websites or web applications. Now, it involves coding, programming, and technical aspects of web creation. Web developers use programming languages. They use frameworks as well. Various tools to build the structure, functionality, and interactivity, uh, interactivity of websites. So there's a couple of factors there. Now, Web development is pretty much the front end. There's front end developers and there's also back end developers or full stack developers. Uh, front end development, what that means is involving um, creating the client's facing side of a website. So I can demonstrate that using our profile tree website. This is the front end side to it. And as you can see, that's how that pretty much looks. Uh, this is pretty much an area where the client can interact with the website. Uh, you can't see any of the backend code. This is completely what the backend code can create. Now, front front end developers use program programming languages such as HTML. That means hypertext markup language, CSS, so ca cascading style sheets, and JavaScript to build visual elements. Now, you could go ahead and build a full website using visual code along with WordPress or Elementor as well uh, with the use of visual code. 
there's other coding languages out there and other platforms to use in order to uh, build your website. Now, front-end web developers would mainly work on designing and implementing the layout, navigation, forms, buttons, and other interactive features that users see and interact with. Now, front-end developers also ensure that the website is responsive, meaning it displays and functions well on different uh, devices and screen sizes. Now, a back-end uh, development would mainly be working with the server-side technologies to handle the behind the scenes. So you'd be talking um, coding languages like PHP, Python, Ruby, uh, Node.js, basically to build the server logic, database management, and server communication. Now there's other ways to, of course, uh, do this. Uh, but that doesn't involve all of that. You can decide if you want to everything to be in one package you could decide to use website builders now uh, they don't really require well they don't require any coding at all and everything's done for you so you've got your front end um, your back end and full stack development all in one go uh, but anyway uh, what the back end development is is pretty much handling tasks like data storage you've got user authentication server request the database uh, database integration you've got back end developers uh, working on building the infrastructure that powers the website and handles processing and storage of data. There are other parts to do that, of course, um, in order to build a database. Uh, and you wouldn't have to do any of that sort of back-end development if you're purely more just doing the front-end development. Now, there is as well the full stack development and that refers to working on both front end and back end aspect of web development so you're a developer of two uh, sides. Uh, full stack developers are proficient in both front end and back end technologies and can handle the entire website development process so they would be doing the uh, front end while they create the back end or they do the back end first then work on the front end. Um, they would have the skills uh, to design and implement the user's interface, handle server-side logic, connect front end and back end components to create a fully functional website. Uh, they would know the ins and outs, basically like your domains, uh, the SSL security stuff, uh, pretty much the whole lot in order to have a fully functional website. Now, web developers also work with various tools, frameworks, and content management systems, so CMS, to streamline the development processes. Uh, popular frameworks and CMS platforms include WordPress, so as I mentioned before, you've got Drupal as well, Joomla, React, Angular, and uh, Laravel. So in summary, uh, web development and the web design is a process of building the websites and web applications using pro programming languages, of course, and then your UI UX designers uh, in order to build a fully functional website. So like what we have here, which is profile tree. Now, of course, uh, if you are a business looking to go into the development stages, there are website builders to use as well. If you want to completely eliminate the back-end coding and you've of course your front-end web design um, and avoid having the UI UX designers. You can build the websites from scratch yourselves if you use a website builder. But anyway, anyways folks that pretty much explains um, the web design and uh, web development. If you guys have any more questions at all on this please do check our profile tree website at www.profiletree.com there you'll be able to get some information on web development so if you just search up the little uh, bar up here you can get some more information and blogs on web development themselves uh, we're able to give you an idea as well and of course if you want a website built uh, just contact our team but anyways guys that reaches the end of the video if you have found this uh, helpful or useful at all please do let, let us know in the comment section below but other than that i'll see you guys for the next video thank you very much for watching